Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.college. Today I want to talk about delaying decisions. Now, a lot of people, when they start a project, they like to pre plan as much as possible. They kind of pick out their stack, pick out how they're going to store data, how they're going to render things, how they're going to you know, manage players, all this stuff. And they get it all kind of figured out, written down, and then dive into the actual project building. I like to go almost the complete opposite. I like to figure out what I want the end result to be like and then delay the decisions for what I'm going to use or how I'm going to do those things until the last possible second. And the reason for this is that I find it a lot easier to just come up with better solutions the longer I wait. So if I go with my first idea, my first thought on how I'm going to implement a system, it's usually not the best there's usually something a little bit simpler or something easier that i can do and this code that i have up here is actually from a real project and it's somewhat of an example of this in this one i delayed the decision on how i wanted to set it up long enough to come up with a pretty good solution it was much better than my version one idea but then after thinking it through a little bit more i realized that i can simplify this down and uh, i should have done it slightly differently of course, I'm going to change it and make it different. But if you look here, it's essentially a proc system for an MMO game. So if you want to have procs that fire off when uh, maybe like you do an auto attack and an ability fires off or you cast a spell and you know something else happens. Maybe it does some extra damage or it stuns the thing if you have this item equipped when you cast a spell. Or maybe it's like you get hit and something happens to the things that hit you. All of these kind of work with this type of a system that I've got built here. But the problem that I was running into was that every time I wanted to add a new one, I was having to create a new class and then link up two different enums to each other. And it just started to feel like at first it felt okay. But then as, as I was going through, I realized, hey, this feels kind of dirty. I should probably just assign this proc type here in the effects and get rid of all of these different classes. So I could actually delete all of this code. In fact, I'll be doing this later today, just deleting all of that and adding a column to the database and I'm done. It's gonna simplify things and just make it a lot easier. But enough about just this specific project. I wanna talk about some of the different things that I find are good to delay decisions on. One, of course is just storage so if you want to use a relational database a NoSQL store you maybe you want to use JSON to store your data or scriptable objects whatever it is that you want to use don't just automatically make a decision stick with that one and just you know go full in like hey this is the one that we're using because we picked this thing and it's not to say there's anything wrong with any of those specific systems but you want to really kind of abstract away your storage until you really know for sure what you're gonna need. Maybe you don't need anything complicated. Maybe a simple JSON file is enough. You can just serialize an object with data that's got the state and you're good. In fact, in a lot of cases, that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do. Sometimes just doing it through a scriptable object is even easier. But sometimes you need bigger data or you need you know different ways to access the data or maybe you need the data stored off-site and reusable somewhere else, in which case you're gonna look at some sort of an API, maybe some NoSQL database behind that, or maybe, hopefully not, but maybe your client is even directly accessing some other data store. Now, if it's a server-side thing and it's directly accessing a data store, that, that'd be fine too. But again, it's more about just figuring out what you're gonna need before you build it. So what I like to do is go with the simplest solution, just abstract away some very simple data storage system and like, you know, save this state object and the calls to it don't care what it's doing. It just knows that, hey, I pass in this state object with the data and then it gets stored and comes back to me. And I might start that off as a JSON serialization uh, it's just nice and simple one liner and then eventually be able to convert that over and abstracting that away into its own class some sort of a repository system make that a whole lot easier now the same could be said for network layers you could abstract that away a bit and then make your decision at the end or start building up your game and then start figuring out how you're going to network it part way through 
Of course, with networking, if you're going to go multiplayer or single player, you want to make that decision right away. You're going to say like, hey, we're building a multiplayer game. We're going to code it as a multiplayer game and be ready for multiplayer stuff. Don't ever just start a single player game and then say, oh yeah, maybe later we'll convert it to multiplayer because it almost never works. It's always coded kind of in a more single player way and just shit falls apart. It's just not possible. But I I guess there, there are a lot of things where I'd like to delay these decisions and it's not just in Unity projects either. It's in all code and just in life in general. So if I'm deciding if I'm going to an event or going somewhere, I'll usually kind of make that final decision an hour or so, maybe two hours before. Sometimes if it's something I know for sure I want to go to, sure, I'll, I'll commit to it early. But I try to minimize the commitments until the, the last second. You know, and it, even, um, hell, even with doing videos, today's video, I just kind of, decided at the last second okay this is a pretty interesting thing to talk about and it's something relevant to issues that i've been thinking about myself lately so i'll do a video on that in fact most of the time when i do a video it's kind of a a last minute decision on which one i think is going to be most interesting to me and the most fun to shoot and you know it's, sometimes it's also just which one has somebody been asking me for enough times that i need to get off my ass and get it done anyway Again, like I said, just I like to delay these decisions when it comes to coding stuff especially, but everywhere else. So I recommend that you do the same. And um, yeah, I guess that's about it. <laughs> I ain't got nothing else. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'm sure you already hit subscribe, right? And uh, yep, just keep delaying those decisions.